Hey there, this is Sam from BarbershopQuest.com and today I'm at the Wicklick Park in Newark, New Jersey and it's fall season right now. You know, fall season is the best season out of the year to me, no doubt. Because fall season is not so hot or it's not so cold. And um, if you go out and look around, you can see that the leaves are turning, are changing colors, right? They're changing colors, yellow, purple, orange, whatever colors you can find, just amazing, right? And even behind me, this river is like all green, like solid green. It's not even a joke, right? <laughs> so right now, it feels like paradise right now. And um, it's just amazing. But today, what I, what I want to talk about is the topic of sexual transmutation, right? This is an interesting topic and somewhat weird topic because um, I felt uh, most of the resources around have not done a good job in explaining how you could transfer your sexual energy into achievement. Uh, matter of fact, the first person that really tackled this topic or really introduced this topic was Napoleon Hill. And in his book, he had a dedicated a, a specific um, chapter just for the topic of sexual transmutation. And he talked about how um, People that are successful in life, successful in business, have found a way to harness this topic and uh, put it into their life, right? But before I go into it um, and explain or, or go over how you could harness this sexual energy uh, into achievement, there's two main basic things that we need to understand about human um, physiology or human life. And as humans, we need to know that there's two main things that drives us. Right? We have two main basic needs that unconsciously drives us. So we have driven by the need to um, to survive, right? So at any moment in time, I want to make sure that I'm alive, right? There's nothing that is threatening my life, right? So human beings, I mean, the body will do all sort of things um, to make sure that you are alive. Right, so that's 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 the first basic need. Now the second need is the need to um, reproduce, right? The need to fill the earth and to keep our genes from going on, right? And that will lead us to the interesting topic of sex, right? We're gonna talk about sex, then we're gonna talk about the topic of ejaculating, right? Or releasing semen, or if you're female, your eggs, right? So the body doesn't really care about how you are releasing semen or your eggs, right? And that's why about does not really care whether it's um, you having sex or you are masturbating or you are having wet dreams. The body does not really care, right? Once you're releasing semen, the body feels like you are reproducing and filling the egg. Now the body in turn is gonna reward you for that kind of behavior because it feels like you are protecting the basic way. And the way it's gonna reward you is by providing you with a chemical called dopamine, right? Dopamine, right? Now, dopamine is a very um, interesting thing. It's, um, it's a very powerful chemical in the body. And it's the same dopamine that people that are engaged or get addicted to drugs get hooked on, you know, because it's like very addictive and it makes you feel very, very good, right? And that's why after a sexual activity or engaging sex, you, um, the body rewards you dopamine and also uh, rewards you another chemical that helps you to bond with the person, right? Whatever it is. So that it will keep you from, I mean, it will motivate you to keep engaging in the activity so you produce and fill the head, right? Now, how does this tie into um, achievement? Right. So, when you are passionate about life, right, um, what I mean by that is that. When you have hobbies that you engage in, um, you know, travels, um, you know, visiting parks, like what I'm doing now, um, you know, work in general, career, things that you really put your heart in, things that you're really passionate about. When you engage in such activities or being, you know, doing something creative in life, you know, music, whatever it is that you do that makes you happy. When you put your heart into it, when you are very passionate about it, um, the body, is gonna reward you, right? The body's gonna also reward you with dopamine, right? Now, 
Now that dopamine is not the same kind of, on a physiological level, it's not the same um, kind of dopamine that you get from engaging in sexual activity or engaging in sex, right? So, however, you get some degree of dopamine from it, right? And the idea of sexual transmutation is to um, win yourself from sex in general and um, that energy is going to be and transferring that energy into life right so the way that works is that when you engage more and more into the activity or whatever you know whatever it is that you enjoy the body's going to reward you but each time you each time you push more each time you do more the body's going to reward you with more and more dopamine um, to a certain degree now when you do that the the body is gonna freak out, right? The body is gonna be, <laughs> be, be pissed off. <laughs> what I mean by that, right? Because then you are winning yourself from sex. Because sex is a very, it's like the most powerful source of dopamine, right? This is where we get like a lot of um, good feeling, right? Happy feelings from it. Because it's more physiological, right? So when you win yourself from it, the body is gonna freak out, it's gonna be pissed off, and it's gonna punish you. <laughs> We're gonna punish you for that, you know. So it's kind of like you have a table with three chairs, right? And you take out one chair, right? You take out one chair. So you are involved in life, doing things of life and getting fulfillment from it. But then when you stop, you get it on top of it. And then you also involve, you also, that's what you have to do. more dopamine from life you know and so the activities that you do we seem not to be as fulfilling or give you a lot of happy feelings as you before now when you go for walking you, you get more fulfillment out of it now when you're talking to people connecting with them you're more happy right um, because you get more dopamine from it right if you do something creative you feel more happy you get more from it and in so doing you are transforming your energy, your sexual energy, into life, right? When you go to work, you are passionate about it. You give your all. You, you stay later. You stay late, you know, go early. You know, you can't get up in the morning to go to work because you get a lot more out of it. You get more fulfillment out of it. And in so doing, you are going to achieve more in life. And that's the idea of sexual transmutation that Napoleon Hill was trying to uh, talk about, right? So on the physiological level, that's how it works. Well, it's all a chemical reaction and um, a physiological reaction. But once you understand it, by how I explained it, then you begin to have an idea of what's taking place inside of you, inside of your body. And you could transfer that energy into life. Now, I'm not saying, so I'm saying that you're not engaging sex. I mean, that's what you want to do. That's, that's fine. But at the same time, you could reprioritize yourself that sex is not like the main source of dopamine, right? And think about life, right? Making love to the world. <laughs> That's a cool term. Think about life as the main source of joy, a main source of happiness, or, or work, or career, or whatever it is that you're doing. But, and, and by readjusting your priorities, you get more from it. And at the same time, when you do engage in sexual activity, or you do engage in sex, you um, also get more from that. You also, so you, on this level, you get more from from life in general, but then you also get more from when you engage in uh, sexual activity. Now, secondly, and finally, what I would like to leave you with is that in general, in life, people that are passionate about life, people that are more, you know, um, have activities going on, right? Like exercising, connecting with family, um, work, career, life, you know, creativity. Those people are people that are very creative. I mean, they are very attractive. If you are find a way to, you know, have some kind of something that you're really passionate about. Because these days, people are not really passionate. Right? People are not really passionate about about anything in general. You know, they start something, they they quit, um, they're not all into it. And um, 
you know, you, it's really hard to find somebody that's really passionate, right? So if you um, divert your energy into life, into the world, and you're very passionate about those things, then you're going to be attractive in general, you know? So if you're a guy, you're going to attract um, the opposite sex, females. If you're a female, you're going to attract the male. And um, I'm not saying that all interactions or connections are based on the sex, supposed to be sexually based, but then you could have a good, you know, have a, a good connection with them and also enjoy that kind of sexual energy from them. But at the same time, you're also playing life on the, at a higher level and you are getting a lot of um, dopamine, a lot of fulfillment from it, which will also keep you going for more. And the more you achieve, the more you are passionate, the more you get more in life, the more attractive you become, the more. It's a win-win situation. The activity with somebody is very draining, right? Um, and that's why in a sexual activity, it's been noticed that people's heart rate begin to beat very fast. And it's just like you're running, like <sighs> so you're like pumped up, right? And then when you release the energy, it's like you are like and you get drained, right? lack motivation and you're physically drained right so on the other side the other way of looking at it is that sex is also very draining and you don't get a lot of energy and drive to exert into life in general exert into your careers exert into your passions and hobbies and people and life in general right so one other way in which you go take that drive that you just yourself into life and set it into life is to win yourself and allow yourself to derive that kind of energy from life as the main source of your you know your joy your happiness you're living life right hey we are alive and then on the flip side when you have sex you do have to have sex or engage in sexual activity is that your sexual energy is like um, a bonus it's like a reward for playing life on that level if you like if this video helped you out comment if you have any questions or anything that you want to add on you want me to know um on how you're transferring and transmitting your sexual energy into life definitely comment let me know but definitely make sure you subscribe below because i have more awesome videos and um, different things that i learned on my journey in general that I'm experiencing, that you know, I'm putting out there, um, and hopefully, hopefully, um, you could apply it to your life or take something from it, um, or you know, just listen to it. But um, this is Sam. Until next time.